Okay, this morning I'm resizing all these rods. <clears throat> Much to my surprise, they all were uh, pounded out seven to eight ten thousandths to the max side of the scale, uh, which the scale is 2.378 to 2.3745. Uh, most of them were six to seven ten thousandths out. So I've already resized the first five. Or excuse me, I've already clipped the first five. I figured I would show you guys clipping the last one. You can see the the markings there. I'm going to clip them and just get a nice clean, fresh surface. Put it in there. Snug. pretty good right there at the bottom needs a little more beautiful so since these are not they're not even a thousandth out around, so we're talking in ten thousandths. I'm just clipping them to clean them up, a nice clean surface, and then it will probably take it uh, smaller. It will take it smaller. How much, I don't know. I'll have to put them all back together. I'll have to retorque them all back up to 40 foot pounds. I'll have to take them back over there. I'll have to remeasure them, um, and then I'll hone them up. And the honing will make the marks in here go away. So let me get on that. All right, I'll torque back up. Let's see if you can get that so you can see it. Hard to read, but the proof is in the pudding. So I closed them up over a thousandth, probably shit, almost two thousandths, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to hone it to about 2.378 ish, uh, not go to 4.5 unless I need to for extra bearing clearance. That's my last resort there if my clearance is all right. So, all the rods have been resized, or all the rods have been clipped. They're about to be resized to factory dimensions. This is David M's motor. These rods had 160,000 miles on them. When I took them apart, the uh, bearings all fell out of the shells. The shells all fell out of the, the rod bore. So, of course, you know, they've been pounded out. So, it's not a surprise to see that they're out around. So, 